What evidence and documents do I need for a marriage-based immigration case? Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States at our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. In this video, we're going to talk about marriage evidence. And this marriage evidence can be used in both overseas spouse cases and in marriage-based adjustment of status cases. And so we have spent many, many years developing what I believe to be a pretty comprehensive list of the evidence that you need in order to obtain an immigration benefit based on marriage, whether that's a visa from overseas or a um, adjustment of status case here in the United States. Now, of course, a lot of the evidence that will be available depends upon how long the couple is married and depends upon the facts of their case. So obviously, if you have a spouse overseas, you're not going to add them to your lease here in the United States, at least not yet. And so when I talk about this list being comprehensive and being um, used for both types of cases, you're just going to have to take what you like and leave the rest. You take the things that you can get, and then you also uh, don't worry about the things that you can't get. A lot of people get really stressed out about all the things that they don't have when they should be focused on what they can get. Now, I wanna make this really easy for you, and our team has compiled all this into one document you can get it and we're gonna leave it uh, a link for it in the uh, description of the video below. Basically, if you go to hackinglawpractice.com backslash marriage dash evidence, uh, again, that's www.hackinglawpractice.com backslash marriage dash evidence, you can get our marriage evidence list and that's free, it doesn't cost you anything. Um, you just need to put in your name and email address so we know where to send it and we'll get that right over to you. But I want to talk broadly about the evidence that you need. So basically, there's two types of documents. One is there's all the identity documents and the uh, marriage licenses and things like that that prove that you are legally eligible to marry. So that would be your birth certificate, your marriage license, your marriage certificate, your um, divorce decrees, if you have any divorce decrees, because of course, on a marriage-based case, one of the things that you have to demonstrate is that both parties are free to marry. You also have to identify who the people are. So you're going to want to include the passport uh, biographic page for both the U.S. citizen and the foreign national. And you're going to need to basically prove the identities of the people involved and prove that they are eligible to marry and that they are legally married and that they were, um, if married before or widowed before, that you have those death certificates or divorce decrees so that you can prove up the eligibility to marry. Now, the second part and the, the real value of the list comes with the evidence that we show uh, of a real relationship, of a bona fide relationship, a good faith marriage is what they call it at USCIS and at the State Department. So on this list, you'll find, find things like, obviously, all of your living arrangements, all of the time that you spend together, all the ways that you can demonstrate through documents that this has a real marriage. Remember, we always talk about uh, making a strong case sort of like uh, making a nice soup or stew. You wanna let it simmer for a while. You wanna let it cook for a while. You wanna get as many good ingredients as you can. You wanna chop them all up and you wanna put them in your pot and cook them slowly. So you shouldn't be in a rush in getting your case out the door. It's much better to spend that time getting all the evidence. So I want you to download this list. Again, you can get that at www.hackinglawpractice backslash marital dash evidence. And if you get that, um, you'll be able to download it and you can use it as a checklist. It's the same checklist that we use um, that people pay thousands of dollars to hire us for. Um, obviously, we believe that we um, bring a whole lot more value to the process than just giving away this list, but we're, we're happy to give it to you to share it with whoever needs it because obviously we want to help as many immigrants as possible. Now, when you work with us, we're actually going to help you develop it. We're going to help you um, gather it. We're going to help you um, put the case together in the strongest way possible. We're going to argue on your behalf and get everything organized the way that USCIS and the State Department like to see it, which is why we're not afraid to give away the list. We know that there are plenty of people who will use it and never hire us, and that's okay. And there will be people who recognize the value that we bring, the expertise that we have, and that's why we're happy to share with you. So make sure you go to the website that you download that, hackinglawpractice.com backslash marital evidence. Get that list and get to work. And then, of course, if you have any questions or want our expertise, want our help um, putting your case together, making your case stronger, making your case the best possible case that it can, and hopefully 
cut down on any errors on your part and try to streamline the whole process, take away a lot of the headaches, we're happy to do it. You can call us at 314-961-8200. You can email us info at hackinglawpractice.com. Don't forget our Immigrant Home Facebook group. We have thousands of members. And then of course, we have our YouTube channel. You're uh, probably watching this on our YouTube channel. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like. A comment would be great. We really appreciate those. And then of course, uh, you know, on most Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're answering your immigration law related questions and trying to help as many people as we can in one hour. Usually that's at noon central on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thanks a lot and have a great day.